The squad enables Pelosi's massive capital police spending bill while cynically feigning opposition. This is from Glenn Greenwald's Substack. So three squad members, all of whom recently chanted defund the police, had the power to kill a $1.9 billion increase in capital police and security spending. Instead, they ensured its passage. Mm. So they say they vote alone, but somehow it always works out. Isn't that amazing? It always works out for the establishment, I mean. How about they just start tweeting present? How about that? <laughs> uh, only in the United States could they brand giving a murderous barbaric police force more money than progress. Then, do you know, if you, this is the perfect, they could have really made a symbolic gesture here. They could have, I mean, and, and actually a real one too, because they're going to, they could have stopped $2 billion. That's a lot of fucking money. $2 billion more for the Capitol Police? Uh, three squad members, all of whom, there it is. Instead, AOC, Jamal Bowman, and Rashid Tlaib ensured that it passed. They voted for it. The, the other squad members, Ilan Omar, Corey Bush, and Representative Presley, joined all GOP members in voting no, but all squad members previously said they opposed this. Oh, hmm. So just enough. Hmm. Yeah, it was um, just enough because it made it by one vote. Just enough. Well, that's that's the joke we always, they always find just enough Democrats to pass some shitty legislation. <laughs> they always yeah. find just enough Democrats. And that's what this is. So just enough of them voted no to create an appearance of radical resistance while achieving nothing. Just enough of them voted present, literally just enough to make this pass. This is amazing. Today, thus provided one of the most vivid expressions yet of what Chant Mizrobian described in December as the real crux of the squad's politics. And here's what it is. Performative radicalism. Uh which masks a lackluster record when it comes to actually challenging party leadership. So this is all performative radicalism. They're not real radicals. They are going, they're go along bullshitters. That's what they are. They're go along bullshitters. What will, what will an additional $1.9 billion dollars do for the capital what would the a capital police what will an additional 1.9 billion dollars for the capital police mean for you and your family huh? that's a that's a really good tweet that's a great tweet that's from force to vote a really really good tweet that's from force to vote that's that's a that's a twitter handle force to vote uh what will it what will it mean for me and my family it'd mean everything could i could i just have some useless platitude tweets too. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> now you got it all. That's everything. Hey, breaking news, AOC to introduce resolution <gasps> blocking the bomb sale to Israel. Wow, they're really going to do something, huh, Ron? They're really going to try something? Oh, amidst Israel's devastating assault on Gaza, New York Congresswoman Alexandra is preparing to introduce a resolution that would block the United States' $735 million sale of bombs to Israel. The resolution that Al Jazeera will introduce is known as a joint resolution of disapproval. Once introduced, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, typically refers this type of bill to the House Foreign Affairs Committee, which has jurisdiction over arms sales. Obstacle to the resolution getting anywhere is that any uh, anything on arms sales to the Israel is Israel can only be considered for 15 days after Congress is notified of a planned sale. So Congress, I think, was notified on the fifth. So that would give them to um, poof, yesterday. Today, yeah, I mean today is well. I think today is the 21st, so... Yeah, so that would yeah. give them till yesterday. So it was Since yesterday. Congress was informed of the sale on May 5th, the House has until May 20th. That was just a still discuss it's not going to happen. <laughs> Boy, that's <laughs> tough. To, what did she introduce that on uh, Wednesday? And then on Thursday was the, de the deadline. It was close. It was something like that. Well, what's the date on this article? Let's see. When did she introduce it? May 19th. There it is. That's the article. <laughs> they had all the way till the next day. And it didn't... <laughs> 
It did it bad. So that's what's called, uh, what did he call it? Perform- I like that. That's a great way to put it. It's uh, performative yes. radicalism, which masks lackluster record when it comes to actually challenging. They'll never challenge their party leader. Isn't that something? I mean, I expected them to challenge party leadership left and right. They didn't, haven't done it one time. You might as well have voted for Joe Crowley. Oh, my God. Anyway, there you go. There you go. They are, they're making sure the police get extra funding. After they said to fund the police, they're making sure that gets extra funding. Hey, what about abolish ICE? They're not saying that anymore. They're not doing shit. They're not pushing the public option. They don't want to vote on F- F- Medicare for all. They're doing nothing. The Justice Democrats are a failed experiment, and you should stop donating to the Justice Democrats. And until YouTube hosts start telling you to stop donating to the Justice Democrats, they're really not on your side, and they're still running cover for the Justice Democrats. So if someone criticizes the Justice Democrats and tells you how shitty they are without telling you to stop donating to them, that person is fucking gaslighting you and being cowardly. Because the real way to stand up and put pressure on the Justice Democrats would be for them to tell you to stop donating to them and until they do they are just as full of shit as the justice democrats and that's me saying that you know what's so freaking frustrating about this whole thing too is i don't think there's any other jobs on the planet other than being a politician or a police officer where you can quite frankly do the complete opposite of what you're supposed supposed to to do do and get totally rewarded for it like hey I'm a public official. I serve the public interests via lawmaking. How often do you take public opinion into account? Absolutely freaking never. <laughs> that sounds great. We're going to make you a celebrity. Hey, I'm a police officer in the Capitol. You know a big part of my gig? Don't let random people inside the freaking Capitol. We really fucked that up this one time, so we're getting more money. We're getting two USA. <laughs> Now we're getting like, two billion. Fuck, man? It's amazing. Did anybody even get fired? I, I don't. Great question. I have no idea. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, there you go. The performative radicalism of the Justice Democrats. Stop donating to them. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.